In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and run the G-Class folder script. The G-Class folder script is an add-on for Google Spreadsheets that will automatically create uh, class folders and share them with your students. So your students, uh, so basically this script automates the process of creating handout folders and sharing with your students and your students creating hand-in folders and sharing with you. So they have a nice website, it's gclassfolders.com, that has uh, some instructions uh, and talks about the folder structure. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and run the gclass folder script. So what you'll need to do is go to your drive, and in your drive, you will need to create a spreadsheet. So I'm going to go to Create and Spreadsheet. You want to give your spreadsheet a name by clicking Untitled Spreadsheet, and I suggest you name it something so that you know exactly what this is. So something like Student Folder Share would be a good name. Go ahead and click OK. And the next thing you'll need to do is install the G-Class Folder Script. To do that, you'll need to access the Script Gallery. That's under the Tools menu, Script Gallery. You can actually do a search for G-Class Folders. It's all one word. Or you can see here it's a featured um, script, so it actually is right here in the list, G-Class Folders. Go ahead and install that. It'll take just a minute and it will ask you to authorize the app. And so we'll go ahead and click Continue here. And it's okay that this app accesses all of these items. Go ahead and click Accept. And once that process is done, you'll click Close. And you won't see much different on your spreadsheet, except you will see a new G-Class Folders menu. So we're ready to initialize the script, so we'll go to G-Class Folders and we'll do Initial Settings. The first thing it's going to ask you is the language you would prefer to use, and it's going to um, give you some default uh, folders and columns and how they will be named in G-Class Folders. I generally leave these as their default. Uh, we're running a single teacher mode, so we'll go ahead and click Save. It'll take just a minute and it will set up your spreadsheet indicating the information that you need to collect from your students. Now I've already gone ahead and done this and I have this in a separate spreadsheet. Uh, the first thing it's wanting is student first name and student last name. So I'll click over to my student email address collection spreadsheet and here I have the first name and last name right together. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight this information and I'm going to do control C on my keyboard to copy it. Switch back to the student folder share click the first cell where I want the information to go and do control V to paste that information in. The next information it's asking for is a student email. I'll come back to my student email address collection form. The username is the email address, so I'll go ahead and highlight that information. Control C to copy. Come back to my student folder share worksheet. Click the cell and control V to paste. Class name is the next thing that it's asking for switch back to my uh, student email address collection. I have collected the class name here, Science 10. We'll go ahead and control C to copy that. Switch back and control V to paste. Now the period is optional, but if you have the same uh, class multiple periods, it might be a good idea to fill in that information. So we'll go back here and you can see I have Science 10 both second and third period. So I will go ahead and copy that and paste it in that uh, spot. Okay, important, teacher email is next, so I'm going to go ahead and insert my email address here. And once I have it in one cell, I can actually use the fill handle to copy that email address down to the rest of the cells in that column. Now once we have this information filled out, we are ready to run the actual script. So we'll go back to the G-Class Folders um, menu, and we are going to create new folders and shares. So we'll go ahead and click on that, and it will run the script and it will add some additional columns and a new sheet in your spreadsheet. When it is done, it will tell you how many folders and shares it created. So we can see here, we created uh, class folders for Science 10, Science 10 period two, period three, and three new assignment folders were created. So we'll go ahead and click OK there. We'll switch back to our G Class roster spreadsheet, and you'll see here that they actually installed that um, on a separate sheet. So if you wanted to, you can come here to sheet one, and we can actually delete this sheet because it's blank, there's nothing on it. So we'll go ahead and delete that. And yep, we wanna go ahead and delete it, so we'll click OK. So again, here is the spreadsheet, and you can see that it's filled in some additional information here. And basically what this is giving you is the link to these folders that it has created. 
So we're going to go ahead and switch over to my drive so that you can see what's happened in here. So Science 10 was what I just created. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Science 10 and I'll open it up over here in this list too and you can see what has happened. So the G Class folder script created a folder for me and uh, shared it with edit rights. So the Science 10 edit has been shared with my students in that class and they have full edit rights to any document I place in this folder. It also has created a Science 10 view folder with me and for me and shared it with my students. Any document I place in this folder is view only. So this would be good uh, things like your syllabus, your class rules, a rubric, project directions, anything that you don't want the students to edit should be placed in this view folder. I also now have a Science 10 teacher folder. This is for me and I can place in here any documents that relate to Science 10. This folder is not shared with anyone. And then you can see I have assignment folders. So these are folders. If I open up this folder and I'll open it up over here too so that you can see that. Remember I had two periods where I'm teaching Science 10. I have period 2 and period 3. So if I open up those folders you will see that folders have been created, hand in folders have been created for each student and automatically shared with me. So here I have Joe's folder, here's Bob's folder, and in uh, period two I have Sue's folder here. So it's already taken care of the sharing process. Um, that's already been done. So if we switch over to a student account, this is now a student account. This is Joe's student, who is one of the students in my classes. If I go to the shared with me area in Joe's, you will see here is the Science 10 assignment folder for Joe. This is his hand in folder. Here is the Science 10 view folder. That is a folder that I would place in documents that he needed to view but not edit. And here is the Science 10 edit folder which would be for documents that I wanted him to be able to edit. Now these are all located and shared with me. So it's a good idea as far as organization wise if the student takes these folders and moves them to my drive. So I'm going to come over here as the student and open up my drive. I'm going to, I'm going to go to create and folder and this is my Science 10 folder. So I'm going to call it Science 10, click create. Now here I am in Shared With Me, I'm going to take all three of these folders that have, have to do with Science 10, I'm going to highlight them, I'm going to click on the middle of them, and I'm going to move them over to the Science 10 folder in my drive. That way I don't have to access Shared With Me, I can simply go to My Drive and there are all of my Science 10 folders. So that's how you use the G Class folder to create shared folders between you and your students.